Okay, so we're on number four of Dr. Long's lecture 19 through 20 review questions. Um, number four says the gram negative bacterium Vibrio cholerae produces a protein, chol cholera toxin, that is responsible for the characteristic symptoms of cholera, extensive loss of body water and sodium ion through continuous debilitating diarrhea. If body fluids and sodium ion are not replaced, severe dehydration results. Untreated, the disease is often fatal. When the cholera toxin gains access to the human intestinal tract, it binds tightly to specific sites in the plasma membrane, the GMI lipids, of the epithelial cells lining the, cell, the small intestine, causing adenylyl cyclase to undergo prolonged activation for hours or days. So part A says, what is the effect of cholera toxin on cyclic AMP concentration in the intestinal cells? So hopefully by now you know that adenylyl cyclase um, converts ACP to cyclic AMP, so prolonged activation of adenylyl cyclase will cause co uh, cyclic AMP concentration to rise in the intestinal cells. Uh, part B says, based on the information above, suggest how cyclic AMP normally functions in intestinal epithelial cells. So the question tells us that cholera toxin causes dysfunction through the loss of body water and sodium ions. Um, and we decided in part A that it raises cyclic AMP concentration. So cyclic AMP probably normally functions to regulate sodium ion channels and um, possibly water channels in the intestinal epithelial cells. So moving on to part C, it says suggest a possible treatment for cholera. Um, because the most dangerous effect of cholera is dehydration, to treat cholera, you're going to want to replace this lost body water and electrolytes.